Nathan Zagura here with the two minute drill brought to you by University Hospitals. Day two of pads in the books in Bria and it was a great practice matching the great weather unlike yesterday's rainy conditions. But before we get into what happened on the field, let's tell you what happened off the field. Head coach Kevin Stefanski announcing today that running back Nick Chubb is in the concussion protocol. So he was unable to practice today. Joining him on the sidelines were Damian Ratley, Larry Ogunjobi, and Miles Garrett, who defensive line coach Chris Kiffin said is very close to returning. Now Jarvis Landry did return to practice alongside Carl Joseph. Both had good days. Landry catching a number of passes from Baker Mayfield. There was one injury to report today. Mac Wilson, the linebacker, was carted off the field after an apparent leg injury. At this time, we don't have an update on his condition, but be sure to keep it tuned to clevelandbrowns.com and the Browns mobile app for more on Mac. But linebackers did step up with Mac out. B.J. Goodson, the veteran who was signed this offseason, had his best day of training camp, was all over the field and let the offense know about it. Some great run fits as well as some good coverage on the back end. And the defense did have a good day. They weren't dominant like day one, but they did have their moments. Denzel Ward early in the practice getting an interception as Baker Mayfield tried to find Odell Beckham Jr. down the field into double coverage, and Ward got the interception. Also newcomer M.J. Stewart. Stewart, a former second round pick of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers that the Browns claimed off of waivers, had an interception as well as the Browns defense got its first two takeaways of training camp. But the offense, boy, did it bounce back. Baker Mayfield got into a very good rhythm after the opening stanza and really was locked in with tight end Austin Hooper. That chemistry they developed in the offseason clearly on display today as they connected for multiple catches. But Baker hooked up with Odell Beckham Jr. at least five times today. And you could see him all over the field. At one point, Beckham Jr. shook his head and said, they cannot cover me. And it was evident Beckham has looked great to start Brown's training camp. I mentioned Jarvis Landry earlier, a solid day from the veteran as always. And Kareem Hunt working with the ones, filling in for Nick Chubb. He certainly looked good, both running and catching the ball as well. But I think the big story offensively, the rhythm. Baker Mayfield hitting that top of his drop, and the ball was coming out. It was coming out crisply, as I mentioned, to his top three pass-catching targets. And as I was on Browns Live with Josh Cribbs, he said to me, man, what are defenses going to do when the Browns look like that? When you talk about Odell and Jarvis and Chubb and Hunt and Hooper, they've got a lot of weapons, not to mention David Njoku and rookie tight end Harrison Bryant, who continues to impress the guy just always seems to be open for full camp coverage all you got to do is keep it tuned to clevelandbrowns.com and the browns mobile app and don't forget to join us every day from maria for browns live training camp i'm nathan zagura thanking you for joining me for another edition of the two minute drill brought to you by university hospitals